All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So it's been about 13 hours since the Dragon Ball Heroes banner dropped on Global, and it's time for us to take a quick look at the top grossing landscape to determine whether or not us Global players can expect any kind of top grossing rewards, or more importantly, top grossing stones in the near future. Now before we get into it, I want to quickly remind people to hit your boy up on the social media platforms, follow me on Twitter at EatLikeGoku for quality tweets like this one right here, as well as on Instagram at TigerUppercutMedia for great photos like that right there. Okay, so with all that said, let's uh, jump into the top grossing update. And honestly, guys, I was expecting a little bit more at this point. Like in my mind, there was enough hype generated by the heroes units and also the Dokkan now and all that stuff to at least get us top grossing in a few regions within the first 12 hours. But it's not quite going that way right now. I mean, we're not doing terribly. In fact, we're doing okay for a normal banner standards. But because it's a special banner, it's Dragon Ball Heroes collab, it's Super Saiyan 4s, it's Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and that fine ass Toa. I just thought that, you know, we would be doing better right now. So I think I definitely overestimated just how much hype there was, like globally, because I had a lot of hype personally, you know, like it's been a long time since I've been this excited for new units, for a new banner, and the fact that it was global and JP at the same time further enhanced that, right? So I think the fact that I was that excited for them and also a bunch of my friends were as well, kind of skewed my perception. But anyways, before I say anything else, let's just check out the usual suspects, you know, the regions that typically do well when it comes to top grossing for Dokkan. And as always, we're on the Sensor Tower website. We're filtered by November 19th, 2020, which is today, all categories and the iOS store. And we're starting with the United States, which is currently ranked number five in the top grossing department. Obviously, not bad. They're definitely rising, plus 40 spots from yesterday. There's definitely some signs of life here, like they could potentially climb to that number one spot by the end of the day. But as you guys know, with stuff like this, there's really never any guarantees. So we'll have to see, but that's the United States at number five at the moment. Now from there, let's move on to the region that I like to call Global's safety blanket, because usually, it can get us top grossing when everybody else fails us, right? And that, of course, is France. And unfortunately, France has, I'm not gonna say failed, I'm not gonna say not come through for us because they're number two, which is very good. And they only need to move up one spot to secure that top grossing placement and get us our dragon stones, right? But what I don't understand is why this Deezer music and playlist app is always so high. Like, what is it? What is it about this app? It has 306,542 reviews. Coinmaster, I can mostly understand because it's basically like a glorified gambling app, right? But Deezer Music and Playlist, I, I don't get it. If you guys use this app, please explain to me why it's always making so much money. I'm actually asking for two reasons, right? Number one, I'm pissed. They're constantly beating out Dokkan. For top grossing but number two how do i get in on this business man because if they're making more money than dokkan and coin master and tinder and netflix then they must be doing something right nah in all seriousness though france is definitely our best hope of getting any kind of top grossing rewards for this banner and for this celebration they're currently at number two right now but i feel like there's a good chance that at some point during the course of today they'll overtake deezer and hold on to that number one spot for just long enough to uh, get us our stones. Now, of course, like I said, there's no guarantees, but I'm feeling pretty hopeful here. Okay, so that's France. And now let's check out a few other regions. We got Spain currently at number four, top grossing. Definitely a chance here as well. And also Belgium is at number eight. So a little bit less likely, but not impossible. We have Germany at number eight as well. And we have the Netherlands at number nine. Luxembourg at number 12, no, 13. Uh, Hong Kong is number 6, so a little bit of hope in Hong Kong as well. Uh, Italy, number 12. Great Britain is at number 12 as well. Switzerland, number 15. 
Australia, number 15. Portugal is ranked number 17. Macau is all the way down at, wow, number 27. Okay, so it's weird. Macau is very hit and miss. Like sometimes they're, you know, in the top 10. Sometimes they're number one. But for some reason, with the Heroes banner, they just did not care. And they're number 27 at the moment. And finally, we have Canada, where I live, where I tried really hard to get us to top grossing. And Canada is number 12 at the moment, which for us is quite good, honestly. So there you go, guys. 14 regions in total that we're checking out. I did look at a bunch of other ones, but nobody was really that close, relatively speaking. And, um, you know, as I said, things are not looking terrible, but I was just expecting a lot more. I definitely feel like I overestimated just how much hype there was for these heroes units, at least when it comes to people, you know, spending money to buy stones, which is obviously the most important part when we're talking about top grossing rewards. One part of it is definitely because the stone sales were hot garbage. I mean, they were your standard regular banner sales, but for a special banner like this, for a Dragon Ball Heroes collab with super hype characters, you would think that they would want to give us a few more sales so that people were more tempted to buy stones, but apparently not. And I think the other thing is that Heroes as a franchise, as a property, just doesn't have as much global appeal, as big of a global fan base as I was hoping for. I mean, I could be wrong because I'm not super familiar with it either, but I know it's huge in Japan but not as recognized uh, around the world, right? So that could also be another contributing factor to our struggles to reach top grossing. But anyways, guys, um, there's your top grossing update. In summary, France could potentially get us the top grossing sometime today, and that would mean seven free Dragonstones for that one region. But there's also the possibility that they don't, in which case we would get nothing for the celebration unless another region like the US or Hong Kong or something like that make some kind of a miracle surge later in the day and uh, get to number one. Let me actually quickly refresh this just to make sure that there's no changes. Um, yeah, still at number five. So no changes over the course of this video. And uh, I wish I had better news for you guys. I really do, but there's nothing I can do about the top grossing situation. I can only bring you guys the facts. And the fact is, um, the Heroes banner was just not hype enough to get us top grossing in multiple regions. Like, I really thought that the Toa animation alone would be enough to get us top grossing in a few regions, but I guess it is November, so maybe people are trying to control their urges a little bit. I don't really know, but that's just how it is right now. Don't expect any Dragonstones for this Heroes banner, but if we get like 7 or 14, then it'll be a nice surprise all right so there you go guys that is today's top grossing update thank you so much for watching as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.